Hello again, good friends. Welcome new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. I like to give you products, techniques, and tools to start to expand your services if you're just starting out from basic bumper to bumper cleanings or if you're taking care of your own car to help you uh, expand your knowledge to take care of it further. Uh, so today we'll take even a step further from your basic paint enhancement and a one step to starting to repair some minor damage and imperfection and that includes scratches. So let's head out into the shop and we'll go over some basic technique to start to make scratches look better. Um, shallow scratches, deeper scratches, and scratches down through the clear, through the base, maybe even through the, the primer down into the panel itself. So let's get this started. Today we're working on a daily driver with deep scratches and gouges the length of the passenger side of this vehicle, but let's just concentrate on this fender for today. Now something like this, to return it to its original form or to make it look new, you'd have to take it to a body shop. We can make some major improvements without having to keep the car for numerous days to fill and level, fill and level. So first, let's start by just cleaning the area. We want to make sure any type of wax or sealant or coating is out of the way, um, getting the, the surface bare and naked to start this repair. I had the ability to get a very close look into inside some of these gouges and scratches. And here's one, very wide, very jagged, and uh, it's through the clear coat. I wanted to give you a, a good look at that. Um, we can also take a look at sections that are also down through the clear coat, through the base coat, through the primer and into the panel itself. And, um, you know, here's a little spot. We're going to come to some more right there. And first, before we do anything, we're going to have to cover that back up to prevent rust. It's always going to be a whole lot easier if you don't have to get into this because that means you would have to carry some touch-up paint with you and a little bit of clear coat to help hide or mask some of this, uh, some of this damage. Uh, without going through the clear, you can then just work on smoothing out the jagged edges uh, within, in, and around the scratches to stop light from refracting and bouncing off those jagged edges, making it look worse. So before we get started, we're going to tape off any areas that could be affected by the sanding or the, the polishing that we're going to be doing, and we'll protect them. Now, this is a daily driver. It doesn't sit in the garage. It's out in the weather and the sun all the time. So I want to take some measurements to show you we can turn this around without removing much clear coat whatsoever. On average, we have a depth of about 4.3 mils. So how I get started, and everybody may do this a little bit different, but I'm going to take 3,000 grit, and I'm going to go over the area, and I'm going to knock down some of the jagged edges that I can get to with the Trizac foam disc. This is a little 2-inch disc that I have around a little tiny block, and uh, that's what I'm going to do first. Notice here, I'm going to keep the area and the Trizac disc clean and clear of any type of residue. If that builds up on your pad, it's just going to mar, and if you had it attached to a, D a DA, that's what they would call pigtails. So steer clear of that, keep the pad and the area clean with a constant flow of water, and you'll avoid any more work added to the job you have uh, right here. Let's remove the residue, and you can take a look at where we're at so far. The area in and around these deep uh, scratches are clean. Now let's get inside them in the valley of the scratch itself where those jagged edges are. Uh, wax or uh, hot wax from a car wash or a sealant or really anything could have gotten in there. So let's clean that out. I'll use something like this sometimes. Uh, IP solution or maybe even paint thinner or a body solvent. Anything would work just to get it clean. And we can follow that up uh, by cleaning the area again. We were touching it, we were in and around it, because we want to prepare it to do a little bit of touch up, and that's when a good that's what I'll do right now uh, to the areas that are through the clear coat, the base coat, the primer, and down into the panel. Now, if it comes to this, you do have to carry along either some touch up paint or at least clear coat like this. Uh, I have it in a, a tiny vial where I could put it uh, right into the valley itself. And 
that helps protect the area. So you're going to have to do something. And I'll let that sit for uh, a few hours or go do something else and I'll come back to it. And what I fill it with is either clear coat or the optimum clear coat restore. And then uh, that quickly cures. So something that small you can sand. If you're applying it to a whole quarter panel or a whole bumper, you want to let it sit 24 to 48 hours. If you're just using it to fill the valley of a scratch, that will cure quick enough uh, and you can sand it and it'll stay in there and polish it and protect it and you're on your way. Okay, let me bring you guys in. The gouges still remain, uh, but the jagged edges within them inside the valley of the scratch are rounded out. Uh, it's cleaned out. We do have some protection laid down inside the, the, the gouge. So some rust doesn't form. Now it's time to polish, and we really do not need anything aggressive because we used uh, we're down to about 5,000 grit. So a Eurofiber 50/50 pad is just fine, and I'm going to use the Angel Wax All-in-One, and we're going to make this area shine, and we'll take a look at our progress from there. That's going to do it. That's all that was needed. One pass, crisscross pattern. We didn't have to sit there grinding on it and grinding on it with a microfiber or rotary, just spiking the temperatures in that one area. I'll remove the residue. We'll take a quick look at the before and after. The whitish looking color coming from within the scratch was the light bouncing around all those jagged edges in there. And as you can see, the gouges are still there, but we smoothed them out, we rounded them out, we filled them in just a little bit, and just a huge turnaround. Uh, but the most important thing, before we pull this out into the sunlight and take a look out there, that's going to be your harshest critic, is we did this without removing hardly any clear coat. And that's important because this is a daily driver. It has a long life ahead of it. And we're gonna check right here. We really only removed two tenths of a mil of the clear coat, if that. And all the scratches, the whole cluster down through the passenger side of the car is at a point where you'd have to have your nose up against it at the perfect angle with the perfect light to see them. Something of this scale can easily be added to your business or start taking care of your own car. Very disheartening to get scratches like that either on your own car or if it's a customer's car. So there's a basic way to, to get started in repairing or just making the area look a little bit better for them or yourself if it's your own car. And we'll go further into it. Um, we'll get into 
if you can keep the car, if you have a customer's car, you can keep it for a few days, or if you can keep your own car out of commission for a few days, where you can sort of fill and sand and blend and keep doing that until you um, bring the depth and the level of the scratch up to the surface and really make it look a lot better. We'll get into that. Uh, that takes a bit of time and patience, but it can be done. Uh, we can get it to look a little bit better than the way this turned out here today. This was a big improvement, but there are still gouges in there. Um, they will, you know, a body shop is the only way to make that look 100% back to the way it was, uh, but we can surely improve it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.